Hello, it's Extreme once again. Uh, this is a video I'm doing for a request for a cool edit tutorial. Um, sorry, the quality isn't a little better, but I worked my ass off just to get it so you could see my screen. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I'm going to show you like a couple of basics off of like a, a test recording, if you will. Um, just off of uh, like all about you because I have it all laid out it's basically what it looks like I always am in the multi session part of it by clicking the button right up here in the corner left corner top yeah anyhow yeah lots of tracks um, the grayed out ones are all muted they were either just an extra track I put in, in case I would decide to pick and choose one or um, <clears throat> a lot of times I'll leave room so I can experiment later like on the hook here which is these four bars and that's the beat up on the very top um, like later I might end up uh, recording right here and then adding like an echo effect or me saying something after you know in the breaks um, stuff like that but basically I'll show you a quick way to do this I'm gonna mute these out and it's gonna be a little difficult because um, I won't be using headphones see normally if I hit the record button I'd have headphones and I'll hear the beat but this way you're gonna hear the beat and you're gonna hear me like saying something or whatever um, let's see pull that up just so I don't forget any words <laughs> but uh, for just a quick test I will record on one of my dummy tracks and uh, let's see bear with me here see right now it's recording the music because I don't have headphones on good times been thinking yeah, I've been dreaming too I've got this feeling it is all about you see in there I'd stop it out now I'll go in and I will edit this waveform which brings me over to the single session mode and it's a little hard to tell what is what right now because of all of the uh, noise from the actual music playing but I'm gonna guesstimate it's right here I'm gonna first silence off everything go under ge generate and then silence silence anything that isn't you actually singing or rapping or whatever and uh, I think that's our silence yeah, effect silence. And go in here. And you uh, also might have to um, change the options so you can use your right mouse button to actually select parts of the wave in this view. I think I had to do that because it's the way it used to be set up way back in the day. Uh, cool Edit Pro is a really great program. If anyone sees this and is like, oh man, I've been thinking about doing music, it's worth the money. Go buy it. It's uh, good times. So much stuff you can do. Okay, I silenced this all off. Well, I already know because of my current sound card, um, I generate a lot of, uh, like a, a lot of hiss. So I go in and find my noise reduction, hiss reduction. Then I'll pick my high hiss reduction and apply that right off the bat. Next thing I'll do is I will um, go in and oh yeah, <laughs> amplitude. Go into dynamics processing, which is basically uh, compression. You compress everything you ever say, whatever. It's good times. It does wonders to it. Like um, 
I'd explain compression, but I've had it explained to me. The guy who explained it didn't know what it meant, and I sure as hell didn't figure it out. It's a complicated thing. Anyhow, see how it changed the form up on that. Hold on, I should actually check if you can even see any of this. Alright. <laughs> Um, then I'll uh, automatically, after I do that, I will go in and effects and amplitude and normalize. If you want, you're going to want to mess with things with normalizing um, a lot because a beat will be either louder or too quiet or something like that. So with your uh, vocals combined together, um, it'll be a lot louder like when you have four tracks of you singing compared to just the one so you probably have to play with a lot that's why I usually normalize last because in this lovely program has the undo button thank god but we'll just say for the hell of it I'm gonna put it at 60 percent because I think with my four layers that's about where it was um, and there we go I got my first track for that hook well, if we look back here, you notice there was four tracks. Well, basically, I just recorded the same thing four different times. Um, each time you record, you'll be a slightly different pitch, slightly different sum, you know, and it kind of harmonizes things. So you'll have two regular ones. I'm going to go back to muting the old one. Um, we can just play this little part. That's just with two layers. Try one. Back to two. Okay, but to uh, kind of add another um, harmonizing effect, make it sound more wholesome, what I did is I recorded two other ones, but I went in and I, uh, I panned one completely to the left channel and then I went to the other one and panned it completely to the right channel and that'll actually give you like a live feeling when you're listening to the music so now it'll sound like this which I'm sure you can't hear all too well. I also um, normalized the, the left pan and the right pan down um, <clears throat> slightly lower. I think I had these normalized, the two main ones, uh, at 60 for this beat and then I normalize the other two I think down at like 35 something like that um, for voiceovers and stuff you don't need to have everything all real loud and <clears throat> I mean you'll hear it in one way or another I could even just add a track in here with me whispering the lyrics and um, that actually happens a lot with a lot of producers a lot of them will do stuff like that they'll even have like low whispers of someone you know saying like talking about stuff during music it's real hard to pick up but it makes it come out with a different sound and you feel like there's more there and all it is is basically a virtualization you know uh, when you're hearing it um, that's for like singing stuff uh, that's basically the basic stuff I do 